Question number 9 of this exercise says that a farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 cm from a canal into a cylindrical tank in her field which is 10 meters in diameter and 2 meters deep. If the water flows through the pipe at the rate of 3 km per hour, in how much time will it fill the tank? So this is how the cylindrical tank look like. The height of the cylindrical tank is 2 meters and the diameter is 10 meters and this is the cylindrical pipe that we have through which the water is flowing. The water is flowing with the speed of 3 km per hour and the diameter of the cylindrical pipe is 20 centimeters. So let's take the radius of the cylindrical pipe as R1 and if we convert it into meters we get the radius as 20 divided by 200 meters and that is 0 0.1 meters. The radius of the cylindrical tank R2 equals 10 meters divided by 2 which is 5 meters and the height H2 of the cylindrical tank equals 2 meters as highlighted in the figure. So to find the volume that flows through the pipe in one minute we will first have to find the area of cross section. So if we take a cross section like this of this pipe, what we will get is a circle. So the area of cross section of the pipe will be the area of the circle with the same radius. So that will be pi r1 square. So that is pi times 0 0.1 the whole square and that equals 0 0.01 pi meter square. Now what we have to find is the speed of water in meters per minute instead of kilometers per hour. So what they have given us is the speed of water is 3 kilometers per hour. So now we can convert it into meters per minute by multiplying 1000 to the numerator and multiplying 60 to the denominator and that gives us the answer as 50 meters per minute. So this is the speed of water that flows through the pipe in meters per minute. So now we can find the volume of water that flows through the pipe in one minute and that will be the area of cross section multiplied with the speed of water. So that will be 0 0.01 pi times it with 50 and we get the answer for that as 0 0.5 pi meter cube. So this is the amount of water that flows through this pipe in one minute. Now that will help us to calculate how much of water will flow through this pipe in let's say t minutes. So in t minutes the water that will flow through the pipe will be t times 0 0.5 pi meter cube. Now, this T is the time that it takes for the pipe to fill this tank completely. So, by filling it completely, we mean that the volume of water in the tank will be equal to the volume of the tank itself. So, what we can then write is volume of water in T minutes equals volume of water in the tank. So, that is T times 0 0.5 pi to be equal to pi r2 square times h2 because we are trying to find the volume of the cylindrical tank. So in place of r2 square we can write it as 5 square and in place of h2 we can write it as 2. So pi and pi gets cancelled. On rearranging and simplification we get t equals as 100 minutes. So basically it takes 100 minutes for this cylindrical pipe to completely fill the cylindrical tank. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.